Could the state of New York really be a battleground state this November? Some elected officials in the Empire State are suggesting yes, and are presenting close polling in deep blue territory as further evidence Biden should drop out of the race, as top Democrats continue to be asked if they're confident in the person on the top of their ticket. It's a state Trump has been in a lot lately, touring the city in between court dates during his New York fraud and criminal trials. In a swing New York House district, two polls find Trump leading Biden by one point. Statewide polls over the last four months show Biden's lead has narrowed to eight points over Trump, described by Politico as an unusually narrow gap in a state where Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one. Politico sat down with 10 Democratic Party officials about the state of affairs in New York. The consensus? Biden is slipping urging the president's campaign to do more in the state to reassure its longstanding base. One Democratic Party spokesperson says, we're still acting like this is a one-party state, which for pretty much 20 to 25 years, it has been. I truly believe we're a battleground state now. The implications for control of Congress are real enough that I think this needs more national attention. Widespread implications were also raised in a closed-door meeting in Washington on Tuesday. Democrats met on Capitol Hill for the first time since the presidential debate. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett was one of the three senators name-dropped in reports as saying Biden can't win the race in November. The senator went on CNN after, confirming he did say he doesn't believe Biden will beat Trump, taking it a step further and predicting a possible landslide. Joe Biden was nine points up at this time. Uh, the last time he was running, Hillary Clinton was five points up. This is the first time in more than 20 years that a Republican president has been up in this part of the campaign. Donald Trump is on track, I think, to win this election uh, and maybe win it by a landslide and take with him the Senate and the House. Prominent party leader Nancy Pelosi was also asked whether Biden should step down on MSNBC's Morning Joe on Wednesday. The former speaker not saying he should step down, but at the same time not saying he should remain in the race and telling Democratic colleagues for now to keep their thoughts to themselves. He has said firmly this week he is going to run. Do you want him to run? I want him to do whatever he decides to do. And that's that's the way it is. Whatever he decides, we go with. And I've said to everyone, let's, let's just hold off. Whatever you're thinking, either tell somebody privately, but you don't have to put that out on the table until we see how we go this week. Earlier in the year, it was Republicans fighting it out to decide who will be their nominee during some, at time, contentious primaries. Now the pressure to find consensus on a candidate is shifting to the other side of the aisle, with time running out. I'm Kara Rucker for Street Arrow News. For more election-related stories, download the SAN mobile app and remember to turn on notifications.